Hello there! In this video, we will guide you through the stoichiometric problems of going from mass of one compound to get the mass of another compound, also known as mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry. Let's begin by looking at the general formula for doing a grams-to-grams -grams or mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry problem. You will generally be given grams of a substance and asked to find the grams of another substance. When this type of problem is given, we call that a grams-to-grams -grams stoichiometry problem. The basic steps to get the balanced equation for this is needed for all problems. Then, take the grams of what we know and convert that to moles of that substance. Once we have the moles of the known substance amount, we do a mole-to-mole -mole ratio. The mole-to-mole -mole ratio allows us to go from one substance to another. Now that we have the moles for the substance we are trying to find grams for, we can do the last and final step, which is to find the grams of the substance. Let's dive in and try an example or two. Let's look at an example. Our problem is, if you start with 5.5 grams of sodium fluoride, how many grams of magnesium fluoride will be produced? Is this a grams to grams or mass to mass problem? Let's look at what we know. We know that there is 5.5 grams of sodium fluoride. What are we trying to find? Grams of magnesium fluoride. Knowing that we are given a starting amount of 5.5 grams of one substance and trying to find the mass or grams of another completely different substance tells us we are doing a mass-to-mass -mass problem. Now that we know we are doing the mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry, we can go on to our first step. In this step, we are going to balance the equation. We know we are starting with sodium fluoride and we produce magnesium fluoride. This is a single replacement reaction. How do we know this? We are beginning with magnesium and sodium fluoride. The fluoride decides it wants to dance with magnesium now because sodium doesn't know how to tango. So he takes magnesium on as his new partner and sodium is now setting out this dance. When you have only one element replaced in a compound, then we have a single replacement. So what is our balanced equation? Magnesium reacts with two sodium fluorides to give us magnesium fluoride and two sodiums. Magnesium plus two sodium fluorides react to produce magnesium fluoride two and two sodiums. Recall the example is, if you start with 5.5 grams of sodium fluoride, how many grams of magnesium fluoride will be produced? We have 5.5 grams of sodium fluoride. In this step, we must change our grams to moles. How do we go from grams to moles? We will take the grams of the sodium fluoride and divide by its molecular weight. The molecular weight of sodium fluoride is 42 grams per mole. So we will divide 5.5 grams by 42 grams per mole. This gives us 0 0.130952381 moles. I do not do any rounding until the end. Now on to step 3 where I take my moles of sodium fluoride and change this to moles of magnesium fluoride. In this next step, we are going to do a mole-to-mole -mole ratio. What is this? This is where I take the moles of the substance I know and convert it over to moles of the substance I want to find the grams of. To do this, I need the balance equation from step 1 so I can have my conversion factor. The balanced equation is magnesium plus 2 sodium fluoride becomes magnesium fluoride 2 plus 2 sodiums. So how does this help me do a mole-to-mole -mole ratio? The coefficients in front of your compounds or substances are needed in this step. Remember in step 2 we found the moles for sodium fluoride to be 0.130952381. This number is needed in this step as well. Let's set up our equation for doing our mole-to-mole -mole ratio. In this example, we will use the box method for setting up our equation. In the upper left hand box, I put the moles of the substance I have. That will be the moles of sodium fluoride at 0.130952381 moles. In the middle box, I place the mole conversion factor. Now this is where the balanced equation comes in. In the top part of the box, I put the moles I want to find and that is magnesium fluoride. But what number do I put you may be wondering? Well, I use the number in front of the magnesium fluoride in my balanced equation. In this case, that is 1. In the bottom part of the middle box, I place the number of moles of my sodium fluoride and, according to my balanced equation, that would be 2. Why is sodium fluoride on the bottom? This is the substance I am trying to cancel the units out of. Now that the equation is set up, let's do the math. I will multiply all the top boxes together. 
0.1309523810932982381 times 1 and divide by the product of all the bottom boxes and that number is 2. So 0.1309523810932381 divided by 2 will be my moles of magnesium fluoride. The answer when doing the division is 0.065476 moles of magnesium fluoride. Notice once again I did not round my number. This will not get done until I get my final answer. Now that we have moles of what we are trying to find, magnesium fluoride, we can go on to the last step and that is to find grams of magnesium fluoride. In this last step, we will take the moles found in our mole to mole ratio in step 3 and find grams of the substance we are wanting to find. In our case, we are trying to find the grams of magnesium fluoride and our last step gave us 0.065476-1905 moles of magnesium fluoride. So how do I find grams? We will take the moles of the substance, in this case the moles we found in step 3, and multiply it by the molecular weight of magnesium fluoride. The molecular weight of magnesium fluoride is 62.301 grams per mole. So now I have my moles of magnesium fluoride, 0.065476-1905, and my molecular weight, 62.301. I can multiply the two together and get my grams. This comes out to be 4.079232144-3405 grams. This is the step where I round. My answer will be 4.08 grams. So let's recap the steps to doing a mass-to-mass -mass ratio. We begin by making sure an equation is balanced. This is so that when we get to the mole-to-mole -mole ratio, we have the right conversion factor to use. Once our equation is balanced, we will find the moles of the substance we are given. This is done by taking the grams of that substance and dividing it by its molecular weight. Next we do our mole-to-mole -mole ratio. This is done by taking the moles we just found of the substance we have and multiplying it by the mole conversion factor. What is this? This is where we place the moles of the substance we want in the top middle box and the moles of what we have in the bottom portion of the middle box. This is where the balanced equation comes in. The coefficients in front of our substances will be used in this step. Once we find the moles of our substance we are trying to find, we will calculate the grams. This is done by taking the moles of the substance we are trying to find that we obtained in step 3 and multiplying it by the molecular weight of the substance we are trying to find. This gives us the grams of the substance we are trying to find and is our last and final step. In this video, we looked at the step to do a mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry problem. I hope this video helped you in your stoichiometry journey. For more videos, please go to and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ask ASC. Thank you and have a great day!